Hello there everyone, welcome back to the disaster Death of Peace mod for Hearts of Iron 4, I'm your host Mr. Mokalova, and right now we're looking at one heck of a long turkey, or Republic of Turkey, but right now we're doing the Act 404, or Act 04, Status Economics, which will give us a little, little bit more construction speed by plus a casual 50%, uh, more uh, production efficiency growth by 10%, and 25% more production efficiency base, while losing a little bit of attrition, but you know what, that's okay, and France is looking kind of large, not gonna lie, that's kind of... Kind of a large France under Maxine Wagen, but hey, whatever. I went, is Act 05? Lysism. Sure, why not? And the federal state of Austria is looking pretty darn good. Engelbart is doing quite well. Socialist resistance, Ge uh, pan germanist resistance. Standestadt constitution. Ooh, not bad, we've got some comments to go through as well. Um, and then we'll do some stuff. Lysism. With a new amendment made to our constitution, lysism or secularism has officially been enacted, ensuring the separation of a religion of state in a country. While some may view this decision as controversial, in the end it is a necessary one. We'll triumph. Okay, more stability, more weekly uh, stability is very nice to get. What do we have for that one? Architecture forms plus 0.9 every week. That's kind of OP, but okay. The Kamalist Army. Status of the TSK, which is a Turkish struggle front, something like that. To TSF, TSK, something like that. Cool. The Ulster Sphere is doing quite well for itself. Oh, hungry, 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 hungry. Uh, and they're kind of... Are they a puppet? They are a puppet of Austria. Are they going from Austria-Hungary? They might. But after the Kamalist army, we'll go ahead and do the Blood Brothers. Why not? Start of the TSK. With Ataturk's new proclamation, the TSK of the Turkish armed forces have been declared as a vanguard of the Republic, forever ensuring that if Turkey is threatened by internal factors, the army shall intervene and restore order. Let's do this one too. Eastern Anatolian revival projects. Nice. I do not feel very well anymore, but TSK will forever guard a revolution. More daily army XP, recruitable population, war support, weekly war support, division, attack, and defense, and max planning factor. This feels a little bit OP, I'll be honest. I like, once again, this feels a little OP. Feels a little OP, but maybe that's just me. Then we're going to go and do touring Anatolia. And we'll get some more stability, even though we're at 100%. And more political power. Meeting with Ember. Enver Posh was taken to the Dolmabachas Palace to face Kamal after 15 years. Surprised by the integrity and order in the city of Istanbul. An old and deranged Enver and a sick Kamal's meeting has been supervised and reported to be friendly with Enver's organizations and political membership being revoked and getting him sent away to Baku to live in a homestead with its own god. Farewell, old friend. I don't have much time left anyways. A shadow of Enver is something we'll lose. So we get 3% more recruitable population, 10% more stability, 20% more efficiency cap, and 3% more inf uh, reinforce rate. Good. Yay! Oh, we're going to get a lot of manpower then, right? Oh, we're demobilizing. Oh. Well, after we get this one, it should be too bad, right? But a silent morning. Uh-oh. That does not sound very good. The chief versus... Oh. Oh, crap. Um, oh. Whoa. They took Slovenia. We have Ante Palovic. No national focus. And then we have Serbia, led by Alexander I. And improved competing machines. Actually, very nice, too. Happy 1940, everyone. And Albania's looking kind of thick. That is a weird king of Yugoslavia. Yeah, that's weird, man. That's really weird. But the Katas. The Katasthrop. It had been a tough few days for our leader. Following a sudden onset of cirrhosis, Cicero's, Ataturk had gone to Istanbul for treatment, however. Despite the doctor's best efforts, it was already too late. He still tried going on with his lifestyle as usual, heading to council of ministers' meetings and taking care of his other political duties, as if nothing was wrong. But eventually his illness proved too much for him, and today our dear leader sadly passed away. Now, his leader sent our nation into shock and sorrow, with many people wondering why it had come so soon. This funeral had been scheduled to happen a few weeks from now, and while the future of the country may look uncertain, it is certain to everyone that it is that Ataturk's legacy be felt in Turkey for ages to come. The day of mourning, the greatest Turk has passed away. Legends forever. Live forever. Lose a manpower and some stability. Oh, crap. Uh, this is not good. Oh, the national chief. Um, Turkey fulfilled. Join the allies? All right. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Choosing the successor after Kamal's death. Debates stir in the National Council on who's going to succeed him. And two names are highlighted. Ismet Ionu, diplomat and reformist, uh, Fazeli Chakmak, Chak an orthodox Kamalist with an iron fist and a great marshal. Who should we vote for? Uh, rule the successor. Ooh. We might do both routes, honestly, to see what happens. Um, let's go with Ismet Ionu for now. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, Ismet. So we gotta go with Iron Democracy. Alright, daily political power, we lose some. More stability, more liberal drift, more conservative drift. An iron democracy? An active opposition. Well, it doesn't seem like we're really going to go to war with too many more people here. Oh, oh wow, Austria. You have got some big uh, wave going against Italians, but... 
Okay then. An iron democracy. After the death of Atatürk, Ismet, a, form, a reformer has come to power. The political groups in the country want to come to charge, but even if Ismet is a reformist, he will safeguard his comrade's system of the one party. With the army and pillar military's help, he will safeguard what he calls the iron democracy, a system where one party gives democratic systems to citizens. The opposition wants democ democratization, and Ismet will not concede unless unless he proves he is unworthy of un unworthy of succession. So, let's go with an art of diplomacy first, because in political power, that's very nice. We're also trying to improve ourselves here. Uh, um, we're still demobilizing, unfortunately. Wow, how are you? What is going on with these guys? What happened to your... Do you have an army? You probably don't have an army. All you got was back with Venice. Yeah, that's great. You got a lot more non-core territory now. Good job, guys. I guess you got Trieste, too, but still. Fiume, art of diplomacy, follow... Hell no Turkishism? Or, Turkism. Hell no... Well, I mean, we've got some comments, including, such as, uh... Someone did ask why we... Or weren't we supposed to partition Greece with Italy? Apparently, it was a decision we could have taken, but I didn't take it because I forgot about it. And I don't really. I prefer just taking enemies out completely. So, yeah, uh, they're dead. So, oh well. We demand Western Thrace. Okay, I think we'll probably get it. I have a feeling we will. So, apparently, there was a decision for us to take it. So, yeah, we didn't peace out with Greece through the decision. So, it is what it is. And apparently, I made the wrong thumbnail. So, some of you guys did catch it and told me like it was wrong. So, my apologies. Sorry. Right, the other thumbnail I used, well, it looked it looked nice. The Tunisian one looks nice. Oh, Tunis doesn't even have... Okay, it literally doesn't even exist. It does not exist in this mod. Oh, well. And ties the allies. All right. Well, we got three aces of the core. That's nice. Well, that's pretty much it. Well. Oh, well. It's pretty cool. And SRF, SRF is still doing stuff there. Student, blah, blah, blah. Doing stuff there. Active opposition. Multi-party democracy, okay. Uh, less supply consumption, that's kind of nice. Ooh. Well, we'll see what happens. After that, Cyprus Congress. We demand that stuff. Cult of Atatürk. We can use more weekly war support. Are we actually, actually, we're losing it by 0.4 every single day. That's not fun. And then, Village Institutes. We lose stability, but we get more weekly stability. So that's not too bad, actually. Look at that. Nice. Darn, no coffee here, but we do have quite a bit of water, which is very nice. Very good. I love how fast this mod is. It just and we're and we're done. We are the Senate. I don't want to do both, but I guess we'll see. Um, 1940 stuff. Happy 41, everyone. Happy 41. And construction speed. Yes, please. Thank you. Well, let's do land reform. Why not? We get some better consumer goods, construction speed, production efficiency base. Pretty good idea, right? Georgia military district has been eliminated. Goodbye. Goodbye. You guys come over here too and do that. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn nice. That's going to take some more time to do. Um, ooh, solidify elatism. Etatism. It's not bad. Hurts the construction speed, though, which I don't like. Kamala's youth. I like prefer this one. More political power, recruitable population, stability, weekly stability. That seems pretty darn nice. Do we want... We are the Senate. Kamala's authority. Democratic Kamalism. Uh, I'm not really sure. The National Chief. Well, I guess we'll go with this one next, because... Oh, there goes Poland. Um, we still get more consumer goods, which is really nice, so... We are the Senate. Although the order is here to stay. Versus our allegiance is to democracy. Empower the people. I don't know. Do we like democracy? I don't know. That seems kind of iffy sometimes. Kamal's authority seems like more fun. Democratic Kamalism. I'm really... I really don't know. It sounds like we could go, like, poorly on either side. But I guess we'll just go with... The allegiance to democracy, I guess? I'm probably choosing the wrong one here. Probably choosing the wrong one. Um, personal freedoms. Fight the reactionaries. Maybe I'll go back and redo this one. Maybe maybe we'll do that. If that's a case. You know what? We could probably save right here too again. Just because we'll, we'll see what, what all these routes have in store for us. So. Alright. Dem Democratic Kamalism. Actually. Yeah, so we can't do that one. We'll go back and do this one later on. Maybe. This episode is going to be pretty short if we don't do it. So. We might as well check it out. Check it out. Extraction, why not? Even though we're... Oh, actually, we don't need... Why are we importing some of that, some of that stuff? There you go. Dutchies, Indies, thank you. Just get two. That's fine. And get two of this from... Whoa. Wait. Texas. Democratic Kamalism? 
Atatürk's wishes have finally been fulfilled. Under his reign, with iron willpower, he stabilized the country and brought reforms needed to bring Turkey to a new age. His successor, Ismet Inonu, has finally put an end to the so-called iron democracy, and is in the process of organizing the first ever elections, but to many surprise. The much-beloved CHP is not gone, with the new elections being arranged. Inonu talked about the party taking up a form, which even the late editor could, would agree to. The Great Revolt didn't teach him one thing. We can reform into a parliamentary republic. Oh boy. Wow, this looks very... What's it, what happened here? Oh, maybe was, this is a save game. Uh oh. Oh, it might be a save game that... Might, maybe the, this mod got updated, so then some of these states don't exist. Oh, well, better not break them. We have the free American communes. Oh, maybe, are they just communes? They must be communes. The Invisible Empire did nothing wrong, right? Oh my goodness. And we have over here. Clean the Italian dust. That seems pretty pretty good to do. All right. Uh, thank you. And then personal freedoms, I guess. Sure, why not? You guys go and train. I don't want to deal with these guys anymore, so just do this. Thank you. And then we'll do the national chief. Or national chef. chef. But probably chief, not chef. More stability, more weekly stability, even though we're already at plus point eight. So we get 1% weekly stability once we get this one done. Not OP at all. Not OP. Look at those poles, they're just going bye 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 bye. Nesta Mach, no. No unique focus tree yet, but still a demo for this this mod, so. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, the poor poles, but they're not really poor. They chose this fate. And then I guess we're gonna go ahead and choose Cyprus Congress. We demand Cyprus, let's we'll see what happens. George V, please, please, please. Uh, we can't even... Let's improve relations, too. Just in case, right? Because Turkey... We we want it. And the Brits own it, so... We'll see what happens. They de We demand it. Oh, we get core on it. Uh, Turkey fulfilled. Look at that. We got it! There we go. Yay! And it's a core state, which is pretty good, too. Assembly line is very good. Very good. Grab some of that, too. Ex excavation. Get some more excavation. Um, so, okay here. Still okay. Not great, but okay. Turkey fulfilled, and then I guess join the allies. And then we join the the faction. Georgian worker state. Hello, Yosef. Wow. Savinkov, the pale... What type of flag is that? I swear. Man, what the heck? We definitely need to play a Savinkov sometime. I didn't even know they had this. National Buddhism. What the heck? It was a brother's war. Um... Faustian Socialism. Well, that's it for this part of the campaign. Wait, wait, what? I thought we were supposed to... Uh... Well, I guess that might be a little bit bugged. We tried to join them, but it didn't work. The European Coalition is trying to fight these guys off. But, let's go back and see if we can see what We Are the Senate is like. Alright, everyone. So, We Are the Senate right now. We will lose political power, get more stability, lose social democracy, liberal and conservative drift. Just to see what will happen. Um, yeah, just see what happens. Cool. More construction, get some more excavation. We are the Senate. Maybe something will be different here. We, I literally don't know. So, we can demand uh, Cyprus again, just because we can. Because the Brits don't deserve it. So, then we get to do with Kamalist Authority. So, we get the uh, Authoritarian Outreach, just to see what it's like. And, Renovator Pearls? Why not? We might as well, right? We might as well. And we get it. Thank you. Yeah, I'll screw it. we're going to join the Allies again. Because we can, right? Because we can. Uh, actually, Jack Churchill. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, Ch Shadow Jack Churchill. Please, thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, not bad. I love owning all of Armenia. And Azerbaijan. Yes, please. Join the Allies. And I'll do it again because we can use more stability, right? Oh, we already maxed out. That's fine. And like earlier, earlier, let's go do this. Thank you. Makes it nice and easy for us. Look at all the equipment we got. So good. 4,000 pieces of artillery. You got a lot of anti-air, guns, motorized support equipment, tanks. Beautiful. But Kamal's authority. At this point, technology doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I'm just going to do shock and awe because we can. But, oh, there goes Poland. That's a little faster than I thought it would be earlier, but that's okay. Uh, Kamal's authority. And I'll work with the TSK just because we can. Oh, get more daily army XP. Can I switch there was more after this? I wish you could just fight the Arabs, like, that authority and outrage, though. Uh, despite his multiple reforms to bring Turkey closer towards democracy, Ismet has decided in the end that he will maintain the current iron democracy system in Turkey, citing the fact that Turkey has only recently become a united country as one of his reasons, and explaining that it still needs a firm hand guiding it. 
Alongside that, he's also begun cracking down on other political parties within the nation in order to maintain the current one-party system and to make the country more united. Ave! So we get a 13 outrage, we lose political power, recruit by population, and stability. We replace multi-party democracy with one-party state. Alright. So does anything else really change here too much? We're probably going to lose quite a bit of manpower, but whatever. Um, yeah, authoritarian outrage. Oh! And there goes those guys. Added to extra forms. Ooh, what's going on here? Authoritarian Democrats going back up. Conservative, liberal, autocratic. Um, like I said, this stuff is uh, fight reactionaries because you can. Go do some of that again, like we did earlier before we even faded in and faded out. Thank you. Um, what can we not... Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. Well, let's see how the, the Prussians do. Hopefully they win, because I played as Prussia once. Hopefully they do okay. We're going to fight the reactionaries and then the national ch chief. I don't think there's anything here, but it's so fast, we might as well just do it. So... Huh. Tiro, huh? West Deutsche Arbeiterstadt. Alright. And it's almost done anyways. Just see what happens. If there's anything else. Interesting. And National Chief. Well, that's it for this side. So, I guess now we must go back and try to get this guy leading in charge. And now we're back everyone to choosing our successor. So, we chose Ismet on Inonu earlier. But let's go with Fezi Cha... Chuck Mack. Renowned, most renowned general of the army. Alright, cool. And then Sons of Liberty. We get Sons of Liberty, more army XP gain. Daily recruit population, or recruit population, uh, stability, war support, division defense, reinforce rate, and stability. Cool. And this guy's leading us now. Minority outrage, but who cares about minorities right now? Um, keep the status quo. Once we get more weekly stability, are we losing any right now? Yes, we are. Which is not very good, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, the Sons of Liberty focus. That looks really cool. Um, Eason Secularism. More political power, recruitable population, stability, weekly stability and war support versus whelp, whip the reformists. Oh, you and me. We get to whip people? Ooh. It's all right. Uh, let's go and choose this one. Eason or ease? Ease into secularism? Maybe? Is that what they mean? I don't know. Cool. And let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's not bad. Weekly war sport as well. 100% is really nice. So I guess it's time to whip some people, huh? You, me, and whipping a couple of reformists. War observers, very good, very good. Advanced fire base, because we can. Better radar, go ahead and go with uh, better engineers. And religion with a promise. Slightly more political power, just almost no political power, but promise reforms. I prefer the uh, political power. It's not very much. You only really get one point. Wow. 1.8 every, every single day, but that's alright. Anatolianism. Anatolianism, yeah? So you lose political power, you get more recruitable population, you get better division recovery, a lot more stability, weekly stability, war support, division defense, more stability, you get 27% stability. Holy crap. And you get 10,000 more manpower. Why not? Followed up with promised reform, so you get more stability. That's all we get here is stability, apparently. And then we get some more production efficiency base, which is not bad. National schools. Stability and weekly stability. There needs to be something else that you get instead of just stability. Like, maybe more like industrial base or something like that. I don't know. Postulate -like system. Oh, boy. Well, let's do national schools next because we've been looking at this one. So, now we're going to get plus 0.5 stability per week, which is just kind of insane to think about. But it's all right. Um, we saw Pol Prussia take out Poland earlier. They should be able to do the same thing again, right? How strong are they? Who are they led by? Oh, cool. They're a bunch of liberals. Liberally taking out Poland. Poland's led by Gabriel Narutovich. But we'll probably go with the Postulic system, where you get consumer goods minus 7%. Production efficiency base plus 20%. A plus 30% more factory output, resistance decay, and compliance growth speed. And our states occupied by the enemy plus 50%. Wow. I don't care, it's ahead of time. It doesn't matter to me at this point. We move so fast, it literally doesn't even matter. Cool. Anti imperialism. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we can't do anything over there, but the heart of BA. Part of BA program. Sons of Liberty. You get more army XP, division, organization, less population. More stability, more war support, less defense, and more reinforce rate. Huh. Is that really worth it? I don't know if that's really worth it, but we'll go with it because we can. There you go. Throwing a lot of these fat ones on there. Oh, yeah. Renovate the pearls, please. Thank you very much. And after that, we'll go and do anti-imperialism. We get more war support, more manpower. 
Anti-Imperialist Beacon. Attack bonus against a lot of the Western powers. That's kind of nice. Alright, not bad. Making a lot of civvies, which is very good as well. Oh, actually Poland took out these guys up here. That's not good. Oh, well, Poles are starting to come back, so we'll see what happens. But after entering Imperial Zone, unite the parties. So, we just... They're all CMP. Wait, Liberal Party is now called... This party has been deleted from Turkish politics. Long live the new order. Huh. All right. And then we'll go with... Rice. More weekly stability. More attack and defense on core territory. And more max planning. Unlocks the collaborator's decisions. What do we do with collaborators? Do we execute them? Do we work with them? Do we... Send them out? Exile them? Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens, but okay. Sure, why not? Croatia do be looking kind of nice, though. Kind of nice and thick. King Zog. Bulgaria. Wow, you're kind of chunky, man. Horiasima. Kind of nice. Moldavia. Makno, like we saw earlier. Savinkov, like we saw earlier. So we got decisions here. Send Samet to Damascus. Oh, okay. We can demand... Demand attack. Now this is what I wanted to see. Arabs, Turkish, and Arab people going to war with each other? Yes, please. There you go. Uh, we could use more planes or more air bases, really. Well, there we go. Can we actually win here? Maybe, maybe not. Our guys aren't exactly ready to go yet, but we should have air superiority, right? We're doing a good amount of damage with our cast, so... Hey, I guess we'll see. Alright. Pretty good. Our guys got a lot of experience last time, so... Casualties, 20,000 versus 100,000. They have a lot more divisions than I thought they would. Obviously, we're only 30, but they're like 40 combos, so that's actually pretty darn good. Um, yeah, let them just kill themselves on our line a little bit. Yeah, over here is not too bad, though. Um, okay. To Damascus. We need to own all these places. Send Farat Faratin to Baghdad. A deal with Mufti. Alright, interesting. Making our way back now. And if you guys could actually force the attack, that'd be great. So you can actually win here. That'd be great, probably, as well. Like, seriously, win or die. It's either that. Win or die. Authoritarian socialists. Alright, goodbye. We've lost, what, 50,000? 100,000? Versus 400,000? That's not bad. Versus 400,000, that's pretty good. Especially if they don't, they don't have air superiority. They're out of manpower. I mean, we've lost a lot of guys, but we can afford it. We can totally afford it. Tel Aviv. Ah, Jerusalem. Every last one of them off. I don't want them to capitulate until you kill every last one of them off. Good. Good. That's what they get. That's what they get for defying us. Alright. Oh, yes. Plans. Send Semet. Yes. Release Syria as a puppet. It's kind of ugly, but okay. And then a deal with Mufti. And then send him to Baghdad. Alright, not too bad. So we have Syria here now under us. Semeturku Glu? Julu? I have no idea. I apologize for mispronouncing their name. Amin Al Husseini. Dual Fates. Very cool. Ah, oh, yeah. The Beirut Congress. Um, it looks like he has ear pods in, but whatever. Ear pods. Fatran Turkan. Cool. But I think that's it for us. Wait, what happened here? Oh, we actually demanded this? We actually got it. Look at that. That's not too bad. It costs us a lot, but that's alright. The Baghdad Protectorate. UK, UK. But I think that's it for all of Turkey in this part of, well, this, for this nation. So, I'm glad we actually went to war too. Hey, if you enjoyed the video though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Also, check out probably another nation in this mod to explore. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.